to be the beginning of what I call it Freedom First Fridays. That I was because I got to do another one on Friday, but this is the introduction, the story behind it. So this may be outside of my normal. I don't like long videos, so if you don't mind, if you want to watch the whole video, you can. It will be a long one. So I have notes, and that's why I gotta keep looking down, and I have them on different um, pages. Don't look at my notes. I just sit here. <laughs> so okay, so let's see how to start this. We both came into the marriage with kids. Yep. We both came into the marriage with debt, school yep. debt, and like one or two credit cards. Right, yeah. And IRS debt. And IRS debt. So, see, we had a little bit of everything. Um, but we really didn't have much or any much of anything really to about 2012, 2013. So, we w was out of debt. We wasn't using credit cards. We wasn't... It wasn't using none of that. We just like forget it. We waited out seven years. It'll come off. No big deal. Um, that was just that whole mindset that we had. We couldn't do anything about it. We both had decent jobs, but we had six kids in the house. So daycare was kicking out, but at that time. So it was it was it was a lot. So fast forward to twenty four. 2014, 2014 yeah 2014 yeah. 2014 so around that time things just started getting tight things just started getting crazy um because in 2013 we bought the the, the chevy because we had to because the maximum died yeah so we didn't know about dave ramsey then where you just save 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 pay yourself a car note and then save up enough to buy a car we were just like we can afford it we can make the but payments we had no on choice. it choice yeah so that too so we just went on and we purchased it no money down had a really good interest rate i mean like really good interest rate so we didn't worry about it so then here come 2014 um, my oldest daughter, she got a license, she needed a vehicle, and I'm like, okay. So then I took the Chevy, the Malibu, you took my, um, old truck in between us. So then, like I said before, we had the stepdaughter, his stepdaughter, my daughter, needing to get around, getting the car's so house, like, forget it. We gotta do something. Because once again, still hadn't heard of Dave Ramsey and what to do, and I'm like, doing the bills, because I do the bills. I'm like, mm, we can afford it, let's get it. So I got my new car, my truck, my Pathfinder in the summer of 2014. So we sat down at the table. We was like, yep, we can do it. We can make the payments. We Whatever. We got this. So we gave her the Explorer. I gave him the Chevy. And then I got the new vehicle. So around like the second month, so like September, I was like, Oh my God. Okay. This is getting really tight because we still paying daycare. We still doing our, so we having conversations about cutting back, watching how we spending all of this stuff. And it didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. So we became more frustrated. We started having our own difficulties and, and stuff. So, um, then at this time, work was changing, his job was changing, everything was just changing, so there was added stress on top of it. So then, I'm like, okay, I need to figure out and find some type of budget, something, or just something, and just went to researching online and came across Dave Ramsey. So I started reading, started trying to put the stuff in place, so I'm following the baby steps on my own, because at this time, from the summer of 2014, to the end of 2014, I'm just like, let me do what I need to do to ride Peter, to pay Paul, to get this one, to get that one, or just to get it flowing um, to where we, you know, not needing to spend as much and trying to get him on board. Hey, can you not do this? Can you not do that? So, and then also 2014 is the death of me, the year that I really want to just erase from memory. Can't do that. So then comes January. 2015. I'm like, okay, that's it. We both got to get this. We got to do it. So now 
I'm like gun ho Dave Ramsey listening to it. I think I started listening to the audio book for the um, Total Money Makeover after that. So every time he'll get in the car, I have it on. So even now, all I do is play the podcast, just trying to keep myself on task, on order, and just try to keep it going. So the first couple of months in 2015, stuff still wasn't going right still wasn't on the same page we both wasn't on the same page we had other issues within our marriage still fighting through all of that and then it was just like i'm done my brain can't take no more i think i went to saying okay well i'm not gonna be that person that oh we gonna go our separate ways but you not gonna pay the bills because i know you can't afford and i can't pay them all so i'm not messing up my credit not messing up your credit so we'll just be roommates until we pay it off because that's what it felt like for like the first what couple of months yeah first first couple of months so now we in the summer 2015 we still got this attitude like we just pay it off do whatever still got credit cards too yeah, we still had the credit cards. We're still using them, paying it off as much as I can because now we just so far. Because that was the first summer that Tristan went to daycare uh, for the summer camp for like either part time or full time. And I'm like, whoo, that was a lot of money. So then around September, I got it written down. Hold on. Yeah, around September 2015. They started having the classes at church because we was, you know, trying to go to church, just trying to keep our minds open to all different things so they was offering the fpu class at church and that's the evening. financial peace, peace university class that dave ramsey sponsors and teaches at different churches yeah so you have different people that would um host the class um that also went through the journey and stuff so that was in september so now he's coming he can't you you couldn't stay to the questions, but you stayed for the whole videos. Right. So they show the videos, and then after the videos, you have question answer type of things, and he'll look at it the next the next day. So we did that from November. I mean, from September to November. So November financial piece, we graduated, we finished everything. Out of all the people in the class, we won the gift card. Yeah. Because we had the most credit cards. So it, it sounds bad, but it was his. It was mine. It was ones we had together. He was on mine as an authorized user. So we had all these different cards, and they all just added up. And we cut them up in November. So we have not used credit cards since November of 2015 at all. We don't pay bills with it because I always hear some people say, well, I use my credit card to pay my cable bill, and then I just pay it off. That, nope, we, we just we just bite it and we just we just go from there so we finished that and i think that's probably around the time when i really sat down i said well let me get this number together get this total together because remember already in 2014 i had started paying extra snowballing as much as i can you know from the beginning so from to say roughly the beginning of 2015 is really when it started yeah, the beginning of 2015. That's 20, when we started gaining really. information and right. looking at revamping some things around the house and right. everything so, else. But, but we still weren't. I was like still looking at being on board. She was on board, but we were still entertaining the notion of credit cards all the way through to to that to November. Right. Uh, so at the beginning of 2015, our total was with everything, credit cards, vehicles, Student loans, some medical stuff we were still paying off. $95,892.07. So, yeah, it was a lot. That number was like a wake-up call. So, yeah, it was, it was a lot. And including the student loans. No, there was. Oh, there was. There some of was including some of the mm. smaller student loans. So, you know, and that was all of 2015. And, you know, like I said, we finished FPU November 2015. So at the beginning of 2016, I mean, it's like we own it. We trying to get it. We, we, we just trying to do everything that we need to do. We still kind of beefing and separated in our own issues. So now we jump to November. I mean, not November, February 2016. Um, 
our church started hosting the elevated marriage class, so like a Bible study, but it's on Wednesday nights for couples where, you know, you have uh, married couples, engaged couples, or seriously dating couples, and it basically just take you through every ups and down or whatever you have, and it just kind of teaches you the Bible way. Once that class started, all kind of emotions just started flowing. So I'm dealing with emotional side. I'm dealing with financial side. I'm dealing with household. I'm dealing with kids. So I'm going through all that plus trying to snowball. But I think the class kind of made it a little easier to talk about finance stuff. I think it was because some of those, because one of them, like the first few of them was finance. Some of it was finance. Some, some of it was much. finance. But they talked about it in and, there. But, I mean, we were already having discussions about finance. Yeah. But you remember that one night that they had that, um, well, I forgot. I got to look through my notes and we get sheets. And they were saying that the woman is in the control because that's how the men put them in the control with the finances or something like that. And I was like, that's me. That's me. That's me. But it's. But he also was saying, the pastor was saying, you still have to be a team. Just like Dave would say, both of y'all have to come together and do the budget. It, so we come together and do the budget and he'll look at it. It comes down to skill set. I don't think a situation with us was me just handing it off to you. The, the reality is it's not my strong suit. That's why I pass it on to you. Yeah. Because it's that's I'm just, I can do it, but it's just not as efficient. Yeah, and we're gonna have separate videos where we talk about the Every Dollar app. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you or talk about how we budget because we the typical family. We even though we have two incomes, we still pay daycare. We have a daughter that's in college. He's in school. We have all the typical. We still have our vehicles, and I will talk about why we kept our vehicles and why we didn't sell it. Cause the 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 easiest way to to tell you is. You take whatever you owe on all the vehicles, anything you're paying the payment on, and you take your income and you divide it in half. If your income is half, so say you have a hundred thousand dollars and half of income is fifty thousand. Well, if all your your vehicle loans is twenty thousand and so it's under that fifty, then you can keep the vehicle. You, it'll be tight, but you can keep it. Now, say if your income is a hundred thousand and half of that is fifty, but all your vehicle loans together come to seventy five thousand balances, where you okay. can't af can't afford that. Okay, You're kind of getting off task. Here. I know, I know, but I'm just giving a reason why we kept the vehicles in all of this. So anyway, now let's fast forward to 2016. December 2016 is the end of the year. Every, I'm closing out everything. I'm reconciling everything starting fresh for January 1. So to date, we only, um, so to date we paid off 47,970. I sold half, half. We all have from 2015, half. So that's how I thought about starting this journey doing these videos to say, okay, we have exactly two years left. Maybe we can do it in 18 months for the last 45,000. And so doing the video would hold us accountable because we would have to come in, we would have to check in saying what we did, what we didn't do, um, issues that we ran into for that particular month. So doing these videos will help keep us, I guess, on a straight and narrow. Also give information to someone, even if you're a single person, a single parent, two people, two adults in the household, but only working the same thing works. And we'll talk about the different baby steps. We'll talk about different, different things. We'll talk about some deviations from... From Dave's plan, I mean, his plan is very effective, but let's face it, when you got children and and uh, other things going on, there, there's going to be some deviation. Um, case in point, the, our nine-year-old, he wanted to go on a Disney cruise. Yes. You know, I mean, it, things like that are, you know, you're, you're, you're working against the clock. You only have so many years to do things with your kids, so you may have to make some adjustments. I mean, you can go... But he said the budget for it. If you can budget for it... Budget for it. Yeah. So what we did was any overtime that either of us worked that was outside of our normal take home, we just threw that right at the at the trip. 
and that's and and we sat down and talked about it one day how it was like do you know if we would have took all that money we spent on the yeah. trip what we could have did Oh my God, you know what we could have did? But at the end of the day, when Tristan walked past us and he has his countdown calendar for the Disney cruise, it makes it all worth it. I mean, we didn't get into debt overnight. I'm trying to get us out of debt overnight. I know it's not going to happen, but we didn't want him to have to suffer for well, unless stuff. Unless you that... win the lottery. Yeah. Then you could get out of debt overnight. Yeah, you can. Chance of that all. Slim to none. <laughs> like over a million to one. Slim to none. So we just wanted to start with our story intro of that and just basically tell you how it all started for us. So it's not like, you know, we've been hanging on to debt for the last eight, nine years. It's just really the last few years. And we know we have exactly 24 months to get the rest of it paid off. 24 months? Or less. Or less. I'm working for less. So, yes. So December 2018, 2018 should be the last payment for everything that we have, including the vehicles, including all of it, and get it done. And then also we'll talk about the next baby step that we will take. And just keeping it, just being realistic, we didn't come from backgrounds where we had parents that, or family that sat down and discussed finances with us. Um, you know, so this journey, you know, we're learning with you. We're, we'll be passing on information, but we'll also be learning with you. Right. 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 So we're going to end this video here. I know it's going to be a little long than my normal. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to also upload a video of us cutting the cable. <gasps> we cut the cable. So we also did that. And then Friday, the first Friday of every month, I'm going to upload Freedom First Fridays. Um, so the first Friday of every month, I'm going to talk about it all. We'll sit down and talk about how we did the previous month, how much we paid off, what challenges we ran into, what we budget for. So um, these videos or story time videos or whatever you want to call them, they are run a little longer than normal. So stay tuned.